Hey, what's up, Classic TV fans? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about The Lucy Show. But before I get into that, I want to thank all of the new subscribers who've come onto the channel. I really appreciate you coming on here and just with the confidence you have in me for hitting that subscribe button. Now, I can tell by the analytics that more than half of everyone who continuously watches me and has been for a long time is not subscribed so you should subscribe what should you subscribe number one it's absolutely free number two it helps out channels like mine so so much to grow if we don't have people subscribing then the channel can't grow and number three when you subscribe and hit the bell icon it lets you know when i post a video and people are missing out on really cool videos and it's such a great uh, thing to do. So I appreciate your act of kindness toward the channel, the community, and myself. So as I mentioned, we're going to be talking about a specific episode that I actually uploaded yesterday. If you're watching this the day that's uploaded, um, yeah, if that all works out correctly, or just basically a day or two ago, and I upload the full episode for you. So if you haven't seen it, I provided a link below in the description, or you can just type in Rick9G um, the Lucy Show shower episode, something like that, and it should pop up. Um, Lucy and Viv install a shower, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on it, my impressions, and um, you should watch it before. As I mentioned, it's absolutely free, and then come back here. Um, if you've already seen it, then you're in the perfect place. Let's talk about it. I'll tell you about what, what I liked, what I didn't like. Now, for those of you who know my channel, know the type of work that I do, Lucille Ball, I Love Lucy, is my favorite show of all time. I have close to 300 videos covering that show because it's my absolute favorite. I've been watching it since I was a three-year-old um, and I can talk all day about how good, how great that show is. Um, as I mentioned, it is one that I've been seeing for so long. Now, The Lucy Show, I did watch back and forth when I was a little kid. And again, little kids don't know much. All the little kid knew was he loved I Love Lucy more. Now, as I started this channel, I started watching a lot more the Lucy Show. In fact, I watched a lot of Here's Lucy and The Lucy Show. I watched every single episode. I probably missed one or two, but I have the whole series. Um, and so just letting you know, I will go to the positives and the negatives. I have no reason to have an agenda either way. I'm just going to tell you my thoughts from studying television and history in general. The first thing that I really noticed about this episode, if I look at it as a whole, and I assume you've watched it because I provided it for you, um, is the shower scene. The shower scene is what stands above everything in the entire episode, okay? The shower scene with Vivian where the water starts to slowly fill up and it comes all the way to the top and there, that whole routine, all right, about six to seven minutes long is fantastic. It's one of the best of the Lucy show. There are other great moments, but it is absolutely the stunner of this episode. Vivian works really well with Lucille. Lucille works really well with Vivian. And it's really interesting to note, it was written by Bob Carroll Jr. and Madeline Pugh Davis, who were the writers, two of the writers, two of the, um, let's say, main writers of I Love Lucy as well. There's no Jess Oppenheimer here, who Jess Oppenheimer essentially uh, created I Love Lucy. There's no Desi Arnaz here in terms of how he was um, the creative head that he was. He was lingering here and there. He actually, for the beginning of the Lucy show, he actually was there working, but it's not the same. Um, so what Matt, this is very interesting because what Madeline and Bob did, they said they imagined Lucy in a weird situation, whether that be putting a fake nose um, on her, um, stealing the, the blocks of cement from um, Groman's Chinese, or if we're going back way back when the mustache episode, the saxophone, the chocolate, eating the chocolate. They would imagine those specific weird outlandish scenes, and then they would build story around it and create Lucy getting to that point, if that makes sense. So what we have here is the shower scene. I could imagine in my brain, that's what they imagined, the funny scene. But what do we build around it? And that's where I saw the struggle. First of all, there's no William Frawley, no Bill Frawley, no Fred. There's no Desi Arnaz. Now, I'm not going to automatically count that against the episode. Although, I know people do use that to count against the episode. I totally get it. Um, in my opinion, that's why the Lucy show in general is not as strong as I Love Lucy. It's missing half of what made it amazing. Um, it's missing also the writers, missing some of the production work and so forth. But 
it's the story. What makes something funny, we're, we're talking about a sitcom comedy, right? A situational comedy. Um, we have a funny situation in the shower, but what builds up to it needs to be good. It needs to be well-written and make sense to build up to something. Some of the best episodes of I Love Lucy, LA at last, there was so much build up to coming up to California. In fact, they had 20 or so episodes, right? Building up to that California. And when they were in Hollywood, they spent another, what, 20 or something episodes in Hollywood doing all these things. So there was a lot of story. Um, or at least the story was strong. I think that's what's important. The beginning of this episode, we have very simple thought. We have Vivian and Lucy living together. They have their kids as well. Um, they're single mothers at this point. Um, they're no um, husbands, as I love Lucy. Um, and, and so they have uh, two individuals who kind of, I don't want to say replace them, or kind of like boyfriend or male figures. Um, I have them written here, uh, Dick Martin and Donald Briggs. Donald Briggs playing Eddie, Dick Martin playing Harry. Harry's to Lucy, and Eddie is to Ethel, uh, to Vivian. I might do that every once in a while here, um, to Vivian. And... It's one of those things where it's just for the sake of, because I felt they needed that balance, right? The ladies are here trying to do their own thing, their own show, totally get it with the kids. The kids to me aren't as strong as like the little Ricky character was. It just all fitted well. These kids seem like they're just plunked in there to fill the house more. That's just my understanding of how the show feels. In fact, the second half of the show, the Mr. Mooney is the stronger stuff, but I do love Vivian in the scenes. Anyway, the problem with it, we have Dick Martin, his character, and Donald Briggs coming in, and they're they're kind of tricked into helping the girls. I'm sorry, my allergies are acting up. Uh, into into making this shower that they need because they need an extra sh shower. And some people even made comments about this that it's not even that funny building up to the shower scene. It's just the guys being tricked into it. And it's very simple. The The jokes kind of fall flat, to be honest with you. There are no moments where that like, oh my God, that was hilarious. There are no Fred Mertz type burns like that, uh, one-liners. There's nothing like that that stands out. These feel like very generic male figures. Um, and what I mean by that is it didn't feel like a group, like the boys against the girls with like Lucy and Ricky and I Love Lucy. Now, not to say that the show has to copy that, but why bring in these figures if you don't need them? It felt like the show felt like they needed these figures, but then once they were there, they weren't useful, if that makes sense. And that's a weak point of this episode. Now, they bring in another figure, Stafford Rep. Stafford Rep played Chief O'Hara in the 60s Batman um, television show with Adam West and so forth, and he is the plumber. So we go into the, the, the shower itself, and he's fixing it, and there's like about five or six minutes of him back and forth banter with Lucy. The only thing you have to look at is Lucy telling him, hey, hurry up, hey, I want this done. And he's saying, hey, it's not as easy as you think. And the boy's annoying him. Everyone gets ushered out. And then even the plumber, Stafford Rett, gets ushered out. And then we have the shower scene. And then it finishes with the girls all, you know, in their bathrobe and then ceiling uh, stucco basically coming down and them saying, well, now we gotta fix the ceiling. And it's like, oh no, here we go again. So what I mean by that is you have an episode that's about 25 or so minutes. Let's say five minutes of the shower scene and the build up to it is fairly weak compared to what we have in the shower scene. So, th so essentially it makes sense what I Love Lucy, when it turned into the Lucy show became, the Lucy show became something with Mr. Moody. They needed that strong figure that was opposed to Lucy because Vivian was kind of on Lucy's team even though they, she was like, oh, Lucy, look what you're doing. But she was always in on it, helping her, assisting toward the goal. Whereas the antagonist figure, not necessarily the bad person, but just the antagonist to what Lucy was doing was Mr. Mooney. And so that makes more sense in a story type way. We can talk about how good he was or not. That's something else, which I think he was fairly good. Um, but the thing was, we have that missing in the Dick Martin and Donald Briggs character, which I think is essentially why they were written off the show. The kids were written off the show. The Lucy show became essentially that, the Lucy show, like a variety show. And it was just shticks that they did in an episode that never, it's like every episode stood by itself. 
and in my opinion, it became stronger because they just focused on the stunt that was happening and then the build up to that stunt. And it became, I would say, funnier. Now, some people would disagree with me. I would love to know your thoughts down below. Would I watch this episode if I've never watched it? I totally would. Have I watched it? Will I repeat watching it? Yes. Um, I can enjoy it for what it is. Um, but if I really want to laugh, I'll pop in I Love Lucy versus um, this episode of The Lucy Show. But there are a lot of other good ones that I do want to cover. Let me know if you want me to do this with other episodes of The Lucy Show and other stuff. I kind of like this format, which is really cool. But let me know what you think. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we continue other stuff. I have so much planned for you. And this is one of the things that I wanted to show you. Thank you so much, as always, for the support, for watching the videos, for liking, commenting, and subscribing. It does help out so so much and most importantly be hopeful a big thank you especially to my diamond tier patrons kevin k david d Vito l sally n citizen kane 359 ricky and honorary patreon verbal volley if you want to become a patron member links are down below in the description thank you